Hey VC, Down Under Vinyl here with another video for you. Today's video I decided to start showing some of my Nirvana records. I have always loved Nirvana, they've been one of my favourite bands ever since I could remember listening to them. In the early to mid 2000s I started collecting a lot of their records. At that point in time the resurgence of vinyl hadn't really sort of started and the prices were quite reasonable. So it wasn't too expensive. Uh, nowadays it's a lot harder to buy Nirvana records, especially original ones. Um, the prices for glass for on eBay and things like that are just ridiculous. To start off with I thought I'd show you my Bleach record collection. I don't know if Bleach is my favourite album but in terms of records they've got quite a wide range of variations and colours which are great, particularly if you're into coloured vinyl. Um, first one I'm going to show you is a US first pressing. Uh, this particular one is limited to a thousand copies. Uh, it's on the white vinyl, the sub pop label obviously. Um, so yeah, this is obviously where it all began. Um, yeah, US first pressing. Really lovely to have this. Uh, it's in pretty good condition. Next up we have the US second pressing which is limited to 2,000 copies worldwide um, and this particular one was on black vinyl so it started off being white as a, for the first pressing, second pressing it became black. Another great one, really really like this sub pop label. Um, again, not bad condition for the age. Next up I've got a first pressing UK um, which was limited to 300 copies on uh, white vinyl on the Tuplo recording company label. This particular copy, you might be hard to see, actually has red streaks on the uh, vinyl, the red vinyl uh, mixed in with the white slightly so obviously they were, obviously they'd pressed a red record prior to doing this um, so this is probably probably an early copier or early pressing um, where they obviously didn't clean out the presses from the previous record. Uh, I've got a copy of the uh, UK second pressing which was limited to 2000 copies uh, on this beautiful olive green um, green vinyl which is great, it's really really nice. It's semi-transparent um, it, but it's it's a beautiful colour, again, Tuplo label, um, great addition. I then have uh, the third pressing UK, uh, just on the black vinyl. Um, I can't remember off the top of my head how many this was uh, limited to, um, but I think it was quite a lot. Uh, another first pressing I have is the uh, Japanese first pressing with the uh, purple obi strip. Uh, it's on the uh, Geffen Records label. Um, nice thing to have, obviously the Japanese pressings are really good. Um, they sound great. Uh, this particular one I think I grabbed off eBay for a really good price at the time. Nowadays they're a bit harder to find. Next up I have a Brazilian first pressing. Um, the the outer sleeve differed slightly to other pressings in that it has uh, green writing instead of white um, and again it's on the Geffen Records label. Um, great little find this one. Next up I've got uh, three waterfront bleaches. These are the Australian uh, release of bleach when it was first released. Uh, this particular copy is on the uh, red sleeve with the silver writing. This is silver back so this was pressed in Australia on the waterfront label. Really nice red, red vinyl. Um, just a hint, at the time I bought this they didn't really have any um, counterfeit versions of the waterfront label, uh, the waterfront pressing rather. Nowadays they're becoming quite prevalent uh, and they're trying to get quite high prices for them. You can often tell a fake by looking at the label and a, a real waterfront label has a white border the fakes have a black border that's one of the uh, the indicators that you've got a uh, fake waterfront bleach 
The next copy I have is a yellow pressing with the yellow text, the yellow back. Um, very nice yellow, yellow vinyl. I really like the waterfront pressings. The labels are great. The records are fantastic. The third and last waterfront bleach I have is the blue copy with the black sleeve and the blue text. Obviously the blue reverse on lovely blue vinyl. Um, they're all slightly, they've got slight little waves in them. It's not a, a completely solid colour. I wouldn't call it marbled, but they do have little waves of imperfections. A few more variations that I have before I get on to the US third pressings. I've got a uh, just a modern modern release. I think it's a fourth pressing uh, US copy. I also have a German pressing. Uh, this particular one actually has some. Uh, holes punched in the top. It, uh, it was a, uses a promo. Uh, nice, nice pressing this one. And then I also have the recalled uh, 13 track United US uh, record which was on the marbled white vinyl. Uh, this particular one was actually recalled because um, it had more tracks than it was supposed to have. Uh, most bleach records have 11 tracks. Um, uh, this particular one has 13. The 13 track record has Big Cheese and Downer uh, in addition to all the other normal tracks and the track listing is slightly different with Negative Creep being on the A side as opposed to the B side where it would usually be. Uh, just an interesting little variation there. Okay, now I'm moving on to the third pressings from the US, um, there are a lot, this is where you can start going crazy with the sheer amount of colour variations you can get. Um, they're all under normal normal sleeve, sometimes you get a little uh, colour vinyl sticker at the top. This particular copy is on pink transparent vinyl. Quite a fluoro colour, looks really great. The next colour variation I have is a purple marble, which has got lots of other colours in it. It's got bits of grey and brown and white. Um, it's quite a funky record. I've actually got two, um, two copies of this purple. Um, purple's one of my favourite colours, so I picked up a second copy. There's quite a variation between even similar colours, like the variation between two purples is as much variation as between a purple and a pink, for example. Um, which is why if you start collecting all the variations of the third pressing US copies, it'll drive you crazy. Next copy I've got is um, fluoro pink marbled with like a white, a white, and almost, there's a few little black streaks in it as well. It's a great colour record. This particular one's actually still got the shrink wrap on it. The next copy I have is actually signed by Chad Channing, who was obviously the drummer prior to Dave Grohl coming on board. Um, he signed this one a few years ago. It's a pink marbled copy as well. One of my favourite uh, bleach pressings was one that they released in very limited numbers with 500 copies. It was bundled with the seven inch single sliver. It's on marble red and white vinyl. Um, as I said, it was limited to 500 copies. This particular one is copy 341. Each one is very different with how the marbling is. Um, it's such a great looking record. It's really beautiful. Um, it comes with, on the outer plastic, it came with the sticker. Um, saying splattered vinyl LP and free blue vinyl 7 inch limited to 500 your number is 000341 so this is obviously by the previous owner had been stuck to the back of this which is great that it's still there but yeah one of my definitely one of my favorite records so that's it for my bleach collection I could show you more Nirvana ones in this video but I want to try and keep the video to 
a reasonable length of time. So if you've got any questions, please leave me a comment down below and I will answer them all. And I'll also do another video soon focusing on another aspect of my Nirvana Records. Once again, thanks for watching guys. Please like the video if you liked it and make sure you subscribe. Thank you to those that have already subscribed. Uh, it means a lot. Cheers guys.